Hey, what's going on guys? Jason here, and this is the uh, fourth and final video on this React Book Cards project. So what this project is made up of so far is we have a page here with a search box, and whenever we search for a specific topic, we should get a list of thumbnails. So if I do JavaScript <clears throat> and I search, we'll get a list of thumbnail cards here. It has a uh, image, a title, author, and a publish date. And in this video, what we want to do is we want to uh, implement a functionality, a sorting functionality. So it'll look like this. So it's uh, here we have the same thing basically. We just are adding this uh, sorting select tag here. So if I do again, search for JavaScript, and I want to sort it by the newest published date first, I'll click newest. It'll sort by the newest here first and to the oldest and vice versa. And so that's what we'll be doing in this video, and we'll also be cleaning up the uh, the info here a little bit as well. So yeah, so let's get into it. And here's the uh, component hierarchy if you need a recap of how the uh, React project is laid out. Basically we have a app component, which is the top level component, and under that we have a header component. And then we have a sibling for the header of a uh, books component, and this component will contain the state for our React project, and it also has some other methods that we're going to implement. We also have the search area component there, and our book list component, which will just render out a list of individual book card components. So that's how that's laid out. Refresh that. Okay, so first thing we'll do is we'll, let's see, we'll create the uh, select tag for the uh, sorting. So if we go into search area, here is our form. So we just want to create the select tag. We'll get rid of this, and our options, we'll give it three options. First one will be a value of sort. Give it sort there, and also I'm going to give this one a disabled property. Uh, let's see, the second one will be newest, and then we'll give that one newest. And the third one will have the value of oldest. So we'll do that. All right, cool. That looks good. And now on our select tag, we'll add a uh, property here called default value. Set that equal to sort. So it's defaulted to that. And then we'll get uh, give it an on change property as well. And cool. So in this on change property, this is basically going to fire whatever is inside here every time the user selects. Uh, one of these options and so what's going to be in here is a uh, method that we're going to pass in here from our book component and that method will be called a uh, handle sort so we'll go ahead and implement it here real quick and so what that method will do is it's basically basically going to set the state for whatever sort option we're on so in our state we are going to give it a property of sort, set it to an empty string. And then we'll pass in or we'll define a method called sort. Let's see, we'll do an arrow function. All right. And so in this handle sort method, we are going to set the state whenever it's fired. So we'll do this dot set state and we're going to do an object there and we're going to set the state for our sort property and the value here we're going to get from this parameter that we pass in which is the event here so it's going to be e so it's going to be e dot target dot value and that'll be the value from our from whatever the user selected on that select tag all right that looks good okay so now that we have that method uh, defined we will pass it as a prop to our search area component that way that that way the search area can make use of it so we'll do handle we'll just call this prop handle sort and then we'll pass in the method handle sort that looks good all right so now in search area on the on change property we can pass in from props, props.handle sort. All right, cool. 
So that looks good there. I think we're all done with that. All right. And let's see. So let's go ahead and just test this real quick. So let's do a console.log e.target.value. Just to make sure everything looks good. So if I search for a book, JavaScript, and then we click on newest, we should see the newest uh, value pop up there. All right, that looks good. All right, so it looks like that's working. So now we can go ahead and go move on to the, let's see. Uh, okay, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a method called clean uh, data. And uh, what this method will be uh, doing is it's basically going to clean up our data that we get back from our API because uh, there's some uh, books that we may get back that may not have some properties that we need to make use of. So for example, uh, there may be a book that we get back that maybe doesn't have a publish date property or an image thumbnail. So uh, with this method, what we want to do is we want to basically clean that up so if we get a uh, book object that doesn't contain those properties we just want to make sure we uh, give it those properties and give it a default value in case uh, those properties are not there uh, so if I do a quick search I'll just do Ruby here and we'll look in our body and in our items our book items so inside our items the this is the array of our books so inside the volume info is where it contains all the properties that we make use of so for example here we have a published date so some of the books may not have these properties so our job in the uh, clean data is to basically um, create this published date property and give it a default value so that's all we're doing there all right and so in clean data i'm going to create a uh, variable called cleaned data and oh sorry so and here we'll call this data because that's what we're going to be passing in from our API. So then we'll do that. So we'll do data. Let's see, data dot body dot items dot map. All right, cool. And so as we're mapping through these uh, books what we're going to do is set some conditionals so if let's see if book dot volume info and we're going to be looking for the for this one we'll be looking for the published uh, published date whoops actually no this is wrong so what we're actually going to do is we're going to check if book dot volume info dot has own property published date. All right. There we are. Okay, so we're so here we're checking if this volume info object does not uh, does not contain this published date property. So if it's equal to false, then we want to go ahead and create that property on that object and give it a default value so what we'll do is we'll do uh, book dot volume info and we'll create this property publish date and we'll set it equal to four zeros and uh, the reason I'm setting it to four zeros is because uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to sort the uh, books by the publish date. So in this case, we're just going to give it a default date of four zeros in case that publish date isn't available. So that's the reason why we're doing a string here of four zeros. All right. So now that we have uh, that cleaned up, the next property we're going to account for is the image links. So we'll do book. I'll just copy this here. And do that. All right. So in this one, we're checking for the image links uh, property. And if that is false, 
we're going to do book dot volume info image links and we will set this to an object because this property is an object and uh, yeah if you want to look here real quick um, body items, volume info so as you can see image links is an object so we're going to create an object and just pass in this thumbnail property because that's the property that we make use of and just give it a uh, we're going to give it a URL here that I have uh, copied off the internet that we could use as a default image. So we'll do that, thumbnail, and we'll be using this one. Copy this real quick. There we go. All right, that looks good. Okay, cool. So then as we're mapping through these books, we're going to check for these properties and see if they're there. If they're not, we'll give it these default values and then we'll return the book. And then outside this uh, function here, we're going to return our final array of the clean data. There we go. All right, cool, that looks all good. And now we'll go ahead and pass this method inside our search uh, method. So I'll create a variable here called, let's see, clean data. And then we'll do this dot clean data. And all right, so then we're going to pass in the uh, data that we get back from our API, which is right here. So we'll do that. All right. So now we can actually replace what we have here on this array and just give it the clean data there. All right. All right. That looks good. Okay. And now the uh, final thing that we'll do, uh, let me just really quick test this out, make sure we don't have any errors. All right, everything looks good, cool. All right, so then now inside our render method, I am going to implement the sorting functionality. So in here, I'll create a variable called sorted books. And so what this is going to do, we're going to take this.state.books. So we're going to take our all the books that we have in our state, and then we're gonna run this sort method on our array of books, pass in A and B. All right. And so now what we are going to do is we're going to uh, do some conditional checking. So we're going to check what uh, sorted, or we're going to basically check the state and check what sort is set to. So if it's set to newest or oldest, so if we do if this dot sort, or I'm sorry, this dot state dot sort is equal to the newest, then we will return do parse int b dot. Oh, sorry, b dot uh, volume info dot publish date. Dot substring, I believe it's zero and four. All right. And let's do this real quick. Okay. And we're gonna change that to an A. Okay. Alright, so basically here we're just sorting by the newest first. So we're taking our book. Uh, the book volume info object and then we're going into the published date and then we're grabbing the substring of that date uh, grabbing it starting at 0 to 4 so we just get the year and then uh, inside and then we're wrapping this whole all of this inside this parse int uh, method so that way uh, we can convert the uh, string to a integer so that it can actually do properly sort 
the way we want it to sort. All right, so we'll do that. That looks good. All right, so that's going to sort by the newest year, so the biggest year first, and then to the oldest, so in this one. We'll go ahead and do else if, and now we'll just go ahead and change that to the oldest. And then we'll just need to change our parameter arguments here, so we'll switch this up. So this one will be A, and this one will be B. All right, that looks good. All right. Okay, cool. So then now that we have that done, we will go ahead and pass this sorted books variable to our book list component as a prop. So we'll just take this dot state dot books and just change it to sorted books. Okay. Let's see if we get any errors. All right. So we got Ruby. Everything looks good. Uh, let's see. Do that. All right. Looks good. All right, that looks good. All right, so now the last thing we'll do is we will just reformat this to be a to look a little bit neater. So if we go back to our code inside the book card component where we have our title, author, and publish date, I'll just go ahead and change this here. So we'll have author there, and then we'll do published. Uh, date and then here since we know uh, since we know that for some of our book cards the published date may be may have a default value of uh, four zeros so then what we're going to do is we're going to do a uh, conditional check here so for props dot published equal to four zeros we're going to if that's the case then we will render out not available else we will just render out the published uh, date there actually published dot substring zero and four so that way it's only rendering out the uh, the year and, and not any other like dashes or months or things like that okay so that looks good let's go ahead and do JavaScript All right, we have that. That looks good. Uh, oldest, cool. Looks like it's working. Uh, let me see if I can get a book that renders out like a not available for the published date or a default image. Dragon Ball Super, I think that one had. All right, cool. So yeah, so this one here, for this search, we have a published date of not available. So if we sort by newest, Gonna get the newest one there and if you look here it has a no image available there so it looks like all of that is working properly so everything looks good cool and yeah so that's pretty much it so yeah so uh, hopefully you guys uh, learned something here with this uh, series if you guys enjoyed it go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more content like this go ahead and subscribe so yep so thanks for watching guys have a good day